In this video, we're going to recycle polyethylene pop bottles. Now there are a lot of complicated methods, this one's simple. Now this method works really good with high density polyethylene, but this PETE is extremely brittle. Now the plastic is easy enough to melt down. I use a respirator when I'm doing this and I do it outside. You want to get the temperature just high enough so it melts, but it doesn't burn. I like to use a wood fire. I also like to take the labels off because they're a different type of plastic. Now electric heat is a lot more controllable, but with a nice bed of coals, you can definitely melt them down. As they melt, you can go ahead and add more. Now tonight, my goal is to make a sheet of plastic. So I'll just level the pan and get everything as even as I can. Then I can cut and machine whatever parts I want. The HDPE is a lot easier to work with. That'd be high density polyethylene. That'd be number two if you look on the bottom of the plastic. Now what's nice is when this stuff starts to cool, it'll actually pull away from the aluminum tray. Now to help it cool down a little faster, you can put some water in another tray and then pull it in and cool it down. Now this PETE is very brittle. Now I may have gotten it too hot and burned the elastomers out of it. As it cooled down, it just started cracking. You can hear the material contracting as it cools. Pretty interesting looking stuff. But this was so brittle, I really couldn't do much with it. I guess if you can't do anything else with it, you can always make a Christmas ornament. At least it'll look nice hanging from a tree. So these are my experiences working with the PETE. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.